coast. Because this is an island on the south of the coast. And then you will make it back. Hello. Um, I just don't know which way. I don't know where I am. Oh really I do. It went against my intuition where I was. And I would have started to walk in the wrong way. If I hadn't checked it. But now thanks to my zoom lens. I saw a place I recognized. And hence I know which direction to walk to. Because no one here could really t help me. It's partly because they don't speak English and partly because I don't... I, I know a restaurant's or a bar's name and the name of the so-called hotel where I stay. And apart from that I only know it's sort of city center or whatever. A term which they don't seem to recognize. Anyway, just been cool walking around. Haven't been eaten by crocodiles yet. that you don't need a lot of the things we have in the Western world to be happy. I'm not gonna sound like a or anything, I'm just saying. say of all the countries I've seen so far this year, the people here in Indonesia, they are, are just awesome. And I mean you really have to get to Indonesia, you can't, you can't go to Bali, because Bali is just, just hell. Running two more. Stem. The furthest reaches are within your clutches. Concrete covered countries to the most burrow. 
deserted regions, virgin territories, those exposed to man-made woes, they know them high roads, electrified with lectures, collect respect and ride on, before you even notice I'm gone. Go to Saigon, Singapore, Sicily, they consider me epitome in Italy, hit Libya, India, Morocco, I go to Oakland and hit the eight deuce block, no, Chicago, Liberia, Nigeria, Frisco, Cold, like Siberia, the list goes. It's evening, it's getting quite late. But I still hope there will be a night market because I'm hungry. At least hear some voices. Let's check it out. That's the fish I chose. It's a cool place. The guy behind me is uh, cutting up the fish. This guy's gonna make it, and she's preparing uh, the rest, like the rice and vegetables and stuff. And she's doing the drinks. She's doing a pirisat juice. It's it's white. It looks like a milkshake, but it's juice and it's awesome. So let's see how the fish is. I think the biggest one and it's quite colorful. That's coming out. So here we have the sirsak juice, or some some rice, some green stuff, and some not so green stuff, and then a huge fish. I didn't give up the motorcycle driving. Hello. Or uh said the scooter driving. And today I was driving with two people on. Four year old Indonesian boy and his mom. They arranged a scooter for me and everything and wanted me to drive just because I need this small thing from a shop. It's just crazy. I'm headed back to the slums, if you will, see if I find my friends. Well, let's see the people I met not so long ago. Like the whole village is here. Oh, oh what?
last night in Kupang. I've already spent a week here and uh, I've enjoyed it. Now I'm surprisingly going to the night market where I pretty much have been eating every night. And tomorrow I'm going to Timor Leste and after that I'll be back here. Hopefully I will have the, I will have the time to spend at least one or two nights here and then. Now it's time to eat and drink. Indonesia probably won't guess what I went for and it's not even a, a, a strange fruit that we don't have in Europe okay because it's avocado juice and they actually make it to some kind of a, like a smoothie milkshake looking thing and it's my favorite it's so good I need to get the recipe before I leave Forget everything you know about avocado and uh, just enjoy. And the food was a nice choice. This is a nice Nigo Reng. I just love this. It's a strange place. If you would have told me one week ago that I was going to spend one week here in Kupang, I don't know. I guess I would have been quite surprised. But also, okay, it wasn't my intention to do it. I did it because I was waiting for the the permit to get the visa. And. Uh, I just feel kind of like home here somehow. It's kind of weird to explain, but I mean, I've enjoyed many places, but this is a place I'm gonna miss. And I mean, I, me I met many nice people, and uh, we can even go as far as say I've got to know a few Indonesian families and Indonesian people from here from Kupang and it's gonna be weird just keep going hello <laughs> what? Yeah. yeah especially walking around in the poorer neighborhoods I realize, I mean, how how do you keep contact with these people? I, I mean, apart from staying here. I mean, these people don't have even roofs on their heads. I mean, this Hey, I'll add you on Facebook. Hey, what's your number? Oh, yeah. And, um... Mostly when you meet foreigners abroad, you say, Hey, maybe once you'll come to my country or whatever, I'll see you around traveling. But I met a, a recently graduated English teacher, an Indonesian girl, um, educated, 
English teacher, well, so she speaks English, and uh, her pay will be about 200,000 a month, which sounds quite good, but it's 200,000 rupiah, which is about 18 euros a month. You don't really go to Europe with that salary. And I'm scared to think what some of the less educated people earn here. People that didn't even go to school. Speaking of which, there's an ATM. I need to withdraw 2 million rupiah. Now I can employ 10 English teachers for a month. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not uh, like it would be a good pay here in Indonesia either. It's uh, of course, she realizes she has to work quite hard and the pay doesn't really match the workload. But uh, isn't it the same in Europe as well? A recently graduated teacher isn't really in the highest income category. Eighteen euros though. Huh. I mean, you don't care until you meet one of one of these people and you realize I mean if you spend 18 euros in one night in a bar that's, that's cheap then you don't even go out drinking you just had one or three or six depends on the prices Shitload of people leaving at the same time. Oh, Hello. Oh, Good. <laughs> <laughs>
not seen plenty of toilets, but this is one of the most hardcore. This is the toilet. Just pee on the fucking floor. Camino solo, mejor que mal acompañado Camino solo, el resto fue para otro lado Camino solo, ya nadie espera afuera La carrera de sus vidas ha llegado y les condena Camino solo, sin un destino al que acudir Camino solo, y ya tan solo me queda escribir Camino solo, a los que ya no están Que les puedo decir que la familia es más pequeña Pero se puede sentir Camino solo por otra arista, el sendero de mi autopista me insta a tener otro punto de vista Siento que mi corazón se enquista y me merezco otra conquista Yo te voy a dar una pista, mira, cambio las portadas de revista de otros años por pequeñas experiencias Me considero artista por mi esencia, un individualista que se aísla en su paciencia La lista es uno si uno es egoísta, por eso ya ando solo y hago venta al por menor Malabarista de las letras, nunca quise ser mayor, aunque en el comedor del cole siempre hacía más calor Y los partidos entre rejas con amigos pasan mejor después, pues casi la cárcel me tiré con un pincel hacia el papel y puse escape, tapeaba en una mesa con un fadery, con un micro de mierda pero allí me sentí grande y esa gente aún me recuerda, pasa el tiempo y la amistad se olvida, aunque coincidas con algunos la movida no es la misma y el silencio sabe amargo, me embargo de recuerdos de un pasado largo, por eso hago esta letra y me descargo, camino solo mejor que mal acompañado camino solo, el resto fue para otro lado, camino solo, ya nadie espera afuera la carrera de sus vidas ha llegado y les condena camino solo sin un destino al que acudir camino solo y ya tan solo me queda escribir camino solo a los que ya no saben que les puedo decir so let's see if I make it over It's actually something like no man's land right now, just the Indonesian side and the Timor Leste side. And I have no idea what you're waiting for. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting, I think. Fun fact Timor Leste is the poorest country in Asia. Hmm. So if you thought Indonesia was too developed and uh, too modern, 